What's going on YouTube? Brock from Brock's Trucking Adventures coming with you with another fishing video. We're gonna go down uh, to the pond here. We're at in the camper, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, we're at the campground for the weekend and they have a great pond here with some big fish. So we're gonna go down to the pond later, um, try for some carp and some koi fish and catfish. Um, they got real good bluegill in here, so we're gonna use bluegill, uh, probably cut bluegill here, um, get the scent in the water more, and really attract those catfish out of their holes. Um, we'll have one pole dedicated to catfish, and then the other pole we're gonna have on carp and koi fish with some bread dough balls. Uh, if you've never fished with bread dough balls before for a carp, we will show you how it's done, and uh, yeah. So we'll see you in a little bit. It is very, very hot outside right now, so it's it's over 100 degrees. So we're gonna wait till it cools off a little bit, but we will be back with you when we get down to the lake. All right, guys, we are here at the pond. As you can see, we're kind of in the corner here. I'll kind of pick this up and show you. And that's the pond. We're kind of in this corner here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna really uh, get some good fish hopefully all right guys we got us a good size bluegill here for bait so we're gonna take him off here and we're gonna put him put him there on that other line here and get him on out there and see what happens I got same rig as yesterday pretty much um, only I'm using one ounce worth of weights these are two half ounce uh, leads with a 30 pound test uh, leader with a six hot or five hot hook there and uh, we'll see what we can get here but we're gonna get this hooked up here his top lip is gone he's been in a lot of fights so I'm just gonna Take it right through the front here. Just going to take it right through the front there and, and uh, we'll swing him out there and see what happens. Not gonna go out too far with him. Just get him about right there and let him get down there to the bottom. And, and he's at the bottom now, so we'll get this. I'm gonna get us a uh, stick here we can use. So, uh, all right, folks. So, a bread dough ball is very easy. Just take about a half a piece of bread and roll it up into a tight ball. And those, those uh, carp and, and uh, koi fish and all that, they love these. And uh, if you want to add, you can add, they really like cornmeal too, uh, corn and uh, um, strawberry jello uh, packs in with it. And you mix it all together and it makes a real good bait. But that's pretty much a dough ball for for those um, carp so that's how you do it just get your hook here and you don't need a big hook you know just run your hook right through the dough ball here make sure you got some hook exposed and then just kind of pack the pack the dough ball in around the hook that way it doesn't come flying off and there you go right there then just cast it out there and let it sit on the bottom it's also a good idea when you're doing those dough balls and fishing for carp it's also a good idea to chum the water a little bit so just break you off some pieces of bread you know and try and get them as close out there as you can to where you cast it and draw those carp in here So, that all 
also help to bring them in. All right, guys, I couldn't get you on fast enough. Took a hook up, but we got us a carp on this already. And it's a good one. On this dough ball. It's a really good carp, and it is drops, take and drag big time. This is 75 pound test line. And it is stripping this drag. I got it almost full drag. These carp in these ponds, in this pond, are big. And I got a little hook on here, so I really got to watch and pay attention so I don't lose him. Hopefully, you guys can still see me. He was out there a good little ways. I got to get you guys turned so you can see this fish land. There we go. Oh boy, that's a big fish. Oh, he's stripping drag, stripping drag, stripping drag. Really got to watch here. It's a good carp here, folks. Oh, he's Man, he's fighting. Look at that. Look at that drag. Look at that drag peeling off. He keeps going way out there. Folks, I got to wear him out here. These carp in here got a lot of endurance. I'll tell you what. Oh, don't get wrapped up in that other line. They got a lot of endurance, folks. He's right here. I know you guys can't see me right now. I got to get this pole out of the way here. He is running all over the place. Now he's over here, guys. It's kind of hard to keep you guys where I want you with the tripod. But he is peeling drag. Gee whiz. Holy cow. I'm trying to keep you guys where y'all can see what's going on here. Well, I'm going to try and surface him and see how big he is here. Try and bring him up here. Try and see what what he'll do. Let's bring him up. He's right here by the bank, folks. Let's try and bring him up. Oh no, that's a catfish. Catfish on a dough ball. Wow. Awesome. This is cool. Look at this, folks. A straight. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, I lost him. I lost him right at the bank. Oh, I hope you guys saw him. He was all black. Took my hook straight off, folks. Oh, man, folks. Crap. Oh, can't believe that. I cannot believe I lost him. Uh. Oh man, folks, that's part of fishing. But boy, it hurts when that happens. That was a good fish too. I hope you guys got to see him. I hope I got him up close enough. But that was a beautiful, beautiful catfish too, folks. All black, white underbelly. Very, very beautiful fish. But we're gonna cast this out this dough ball again. We're gonna get re-hooked up here. We're gonna get a new hook on here and we're gonna get it back out there, folks. And uh, we're gonna catch us another one. We're gonna either catch us a catfish or a, uh, or a carp or whatever, apparently. Oh, I wish I would've had my circle hook on for that. But see, you you plan for one fish and you get another. You never know what you're gonna get hooked up to. Now I should have kept my dang circle hook on, but I figured it was the circle hooks that I got are too big for a carp carp's mouth. So 
Oh man. Man oh man folks. That hurts. That hurts. Right when you get them right up to the bank and they break you off, that hurts. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna change things up here in a second, folks, and I'm gonna put a leader on here so we don't run into this issue again. Alright folks, I just literally got that one put down and we're hooked up on this bluegill. Alright. This one's got that circle hook on it. And it's got that leader and everything, so we shouldn't lose this one. I gotta put that knife up. We should not lose this one, folks. But we're gonna get him in here and uh, see what he is. It feels like that, uh, like a flathead. Uh, maybe a good sized channel cat. Not quite sure. Um, all these fish in here. Woo, he's peeling drag again. Yeah, it's definitely a catfish. Um, all these fish in here are big fish, and I haven't had bites like this in, in since I've been since I've been here. This is crazy. Two hookups. I've only been here maybe half hour, and two fish already hooked up. The one got off, so we can't say we landed him, but we're gonna land this one. I can tell you that. I'm not losing this fish. I'm not gonna lose this fish. Just gonna let him wear himself out right here. We're gonna take our time with him. You wanna take your time with these fish. They're, they can break you off really quick. Just like him, he's still got a lot of energy. I'm gonna loosen this drag still yet, so I don't lose him here. Look at all them bubbles, folks. That's that's definitely a catfish. If you see them bubbles, can you uh, shoot? Let me turn you a little bit so you can see you can see that bubbles right there, right there. You can see them bubbles. That's classic signs of a catfish. So we know we got us a catfish. We're just not sure what kind yet. It's probably a flat, but I'm just gonna. We're just going to try him out here, folks, and see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's a good sized fish. That's a really good fish. Loosen this drag up a little bit. He's still peeling drag, so it's going to be a, quite a battle here. Get him in. Woohoo! He does not want to come in. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Another day in paradise, man. I've been down here five minutes already hooked up to two big fish. That's one we got on bluegill. The other one I got on a freaking dough ball. For real? Yeah. All black catfish. Got him up to the shore and then he broke off right at the shore. So I need to take my time with this one. But that's a good fish here. <laughs> All right. He's still with me. Making a YouTube video for the channel. So we went down to the dam the other day and caught uh, caught some good flathead down there. Yeah. Man, these ones are taking longer to take bring in than those flathead did. Yeah, that's that's catfish. All them bubbles. All right, boy, come on. Oh yeah, that's a flat. That's a flathead, folks. That's a good flathead. That's a probably 19 pounder, 20 pounder, easy. It's a good size flathead. Come on, get in here. Get in here. Don't you break me off. There he is. There he is, folks. He's trying to get off of here. Whatever he can do, we're not going to let him. Woohoo! <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Alright. Come on now. Come on now. You got tons of energy. Holy cow. I know. For being as warm as it is, I would think I would have figured he would have been wore out by now. 
Oh yeah, he's getting worn out now. All right, there he is, folks. That's a good sized fish. Good fish, folks. Ah, quit. Don't bite me, damn it. That is bigger than we caught at the dam, folks. This right here is a good fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the size of that head. What do you say about that? Oh, boy, he's barely hooked, too. Good thing we got him in, folks. Woo! See how easy that was to pop that out? Woo! Bluegill. All right. Woo! Shit. All right, let's move this. Big boy right there. Oh. All right, folks. So that is what is in this pond. Big old son of a bitch. I got my uh, scale here. He's fat too. He's fatter than the other one at the dam. If you can see how wide he is, he is huge. Hear him grunting? But he is a huge fish, folks. That is a big fish. <clears throat> Get the scale out. Let's see. Let's see how much he weighs. Twenty pounds exactly. Woohoo! Wow. What do you think it is, man? Twenty pounder out of the pond. Folks. That's what it's about. How you doing? You too. Come on, boy. A twenty pounder out of the pond. That's what it's all about here, folks. That is what it's about. Now you don't want to leave these out of the water, but I just need I wanted to show you guys. This fish, boy, that is a great fish. That is a great fish. What you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Oh my God. 20 pounds exactly. So, if you wonder in these small ponds, folks, if there's big fish in them, there is. All right, folks, well, we're going to let him go because uh, you don't want to keep these out of the water too long. But... Here we go. We're going to let it go here. Woohoo! He still had plenty of energy, folks. I don't know if you saw that, but I hope you did. He had plenty of energy left. Big fish, I'm telling you. Oh, it is hot out here. I expected him to be more wore out than that, honestly, folks. As hot as it is out and the time of day I'm fishing, I didn't expect to get anything, at least for a few couple hours, but boy, this day is lining up to be a good day of fishing. So, we will be back with you once we get our poles back in the water. Let's get us another one. As my buddy Richard Jean, the fishing machine, would say, Woo! Woo! Let's get us another one. All right, folks, so this bluegill has died. And I'm gonna show you here. I gotta get you readjusted here and everything. I'll keep you on that pole too, just in case anything happens. But let me show you here. We're gonna make a flapper out of it. I'm gonna show you all how to do that. All right. So, I'm gonna show you here how to do this. So what you do, Make sure you can see it there. What we're gonna do, it's a little guy. So we're gonna start at the tail and we're gonna cut into him. And we're gonna fillet him just like you would if you're taking off meat, right? If you're filleting a fish. So there you have one side, right? That's one side of the meat. Then you do the same on the other side. Cut down to the bone and then start bringing back that skin, right? So what you're going to end up with is this here. You're going to discard this little piece here, the middle piece with the tail and everything. 
what you're gonna end up with is something like that with all the guts still inside. That's gonna create a lot of scent out there. Um, I sure, you know, we had a lot of luck on yesterday's video with this, but I didn't get, show you guys how to do it. Um, I explained it, but didn't show you. So that's how it's done. That's how you make a flapper, and we're gonna throw this back out here. And uh, let me throw this back out, and then I'll get you guys set back up behind us. And we'll get ready to go here. So that flapper that we made, that's a small bluegill, maybe about that long at the most. So what uh, we're looking for in here, they like the smaller baits in here. So anything will hit on this uh, from catfish, flathead, blue cats, anything. Uh, so there's no telling what we'll get on that. Um, but hopefully we get hooked up to something on it. Uh, they get real finicky here sometimes. Um, like I said, that was the first time I've ever got here and had two fish on that quick. Almost, I mean, pretty much one after another. We got that black uh, uh, channel cat in, all black channel cat with the white belly in. And uh, it got off. And then by the time I turned the camera off and started rigging this pole up, that one went and we got that flat head in. So, um, that's the quickest I've ever got two big fish out of here at once. So today's a really good day. All right, guys, that is it for tonight. I'm going to get these poles dragged in and everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we got some good fish. Uh, that black channel catfish that I couldn't get in here. I hope you all seen it. I'm going to review the video and see if you guys can see it. But that was a beautiful beautiful fish i've never seen one all black like that um and of course the flathead can't go wrong with flathead so i will see you guys in the next video don't forget what do we say keep on fishing